Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of area formulas. This is standard 6.8b in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 23 off the 2022 released star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we have a simple triangle here, and it's given in units, which means we don't have feet, meters, inches, whatever. And we need to find the figure that best models the area formula for triangle KLM. Hmm. Well, when we're looking for the area of a triangle, uh, what do we find on our mathematics chart, right? We're going to find this area equals one half base times height. Now we're not asked to actually solve it. We're trying to find an area model. But here's the interesting thing. This is the area of a triangle. Okay. Let me show you how to find the area of any quadrilateral. Right. So uh, we're looking for actually not quadrilateral. We're actually looking for parallelograms. So uh, it could be rectangles could be squares, could be just regular uh, parallelograms. There are some quadrilaterals like trapezoids uh, that have different types, but you're going to find just basic base times height. That's how we started. Length times width, base times height, same thing. What do you notice that's different here? All we're doing is we're taking any quadrilateral here that is either like that is a parallelogram so there's my square it's my base times height if i take half of it now i've got a triangle okay what happens if it's a rectangle well i could take a rectangle base times height find the area cut it in half now i've got a triangle so this is where we get our one-half base times height because we take just a basic parallelogram. And I keep saying parallelogram, so what happens if we do an actual parallelogram? Let's see if I can draw one correctly here. So here's my parallelogram. Now, how would I find the area of this? Well, I would need uh, the height. So it's going to be given to you either outside or sometimes it might be given to you as a dotted line on the inside. You, you need the height. What you don't need are these slanted lines. These are not the heights. These are just the sides, right? You need the height, and then you would still need the base. But you could still use base times height because if you were to say, well, if I were to chop off this part right here and bring it in over here, now I've got a rectangle, right? But if I were to take that parallelogram, draw a clean version here and cut it in half guess what I've got I've got two triangles again so the reason why we say the area of a triangle is one half base times height is because you could take any parallelogram and you could just cut it in half and you get a triangle so let's see which of these looks like that so I mentioned that the trapezoid's not going to work because trapezoid actually has a different, because you have two different bases. And you see this is, A is not going to work because we need a parallelogram that has the same base. So this turns into a trapezoid, and these two aren't the same triangles. You can see that this one is larger uh, than the shaded one, and what we're looking for is we need to cut the parallelogram and have to get two equal triangle. So A is not going to work. B, they kind of look the same. Uh, the base is 16. Looks like you flipped it upside down to get that base of 16. You've got this side length of 10, but you it's just the side length because you need the height right here, which is outside for 9. So B is actually looking pretty good. Yeah, C doesn't work. It's got two different bases. And then D, yeah, that's got a side length of 9, but I need the height of 9. Yeah, so my answer here is going to be B.